is uh, Jonathan Gavoni of Draft Express, sitting here with Patrick Young, future Florida Gator. Patrick, how's it going so far? It's going pretty good. Uh, practices have been intense, and um, looking forward to scrimmage today. Yeah. What does it mean for you to be a uh, McDonald's All-American? Is that something that you expected? No, I didn't expect it at all. It's, um, I wasn't even in the top 50 uh, at the end of last year, and then um, I just kind of blew up and just kept fighting through this year, and, and becoming one I means it's, it's, it's just a great honor because uh, I get to do something I love for, for a great charity that, that gets to help kids that aren't as fortunate as I am. What happened that made you, that you know made you rise in the in the recruiting rankings? Did, what anything you can point out in particular? Well, um, at uh, NBA Top 100 camp, I um I kind of showed out there. I played hard, hustled, dunked, just everything I, I thought I had to do. And then probably through high school, I uh, I was consistent on a consistent basis, average to double double, and that probably held me out too there. Did you physically? I mean, you looked like you 25 years old. No. I mean, I just mean in terms of your physics strength-wise. Oh, yeah. Is that is that always been the case, or how did that how did that happen? Yeah, that's kind of always been the case. Uh, it, it, a lot of it's I'll say about 70% is natural, 30% is so actually going to the gym, working out, and uh, beefing up a little bit. So when people ask you what do you need to work on, getting bigger isn't one of the one of your answers. Well, for the next level for college. Uh, it's, it's always nice having having a little extra strength, but um, physical, working on my offensive game probably what I need to do for the next level. What has uh, Coach Donovan told you about what your role is going to be next year? Definitely, he's told me I need to um, be an offensive, I mean, a rebounding beast next year. I need to probably average like 10, 15 rebounds because uh, we were struggling on that a little bit and just just being tough and physical because we were just struggling a little bit on the inside. I got a tough question for you. Um, looking through the history of the McDonald's rosters, there have been some amazing players to come through, you know, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, et cetera, et cetera. But there have also been some, some huge busts, you know, some guys who, you know, never played a game, an NBA game in their career, sitting at home right now. I mean, what do you, what can you do to avoid that fate? I can uh, persevere, and um, if things aren't going right for me, just remember that I, I Got to keep working on my game and keep praying and just just hope that doesn't happen, you know? <laughs> yeah. As someone that, you know, wasn't a top 10 recruit from the eighth grade, like some of these guys, what is that, how does that, have you noticed any difference, you know, in hanging out with some of the guys here in that, in that regard? Well, I've noticed that they're just average guys that love the sport of basketball, just like me. And, um, they, they, they just bloomed before I did. I, I'm a late bloomer. I uh, started showing my real potential now my senior year. They just started showing that earlier and younger when uh, probably a lot of kids weren't that good. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to try and put them down or anything like that, but they, they probably had a nice jump shot, nice dribbling, nice probably dunk when they were came out the womb kind of thing. <laughs> right. exactly. What has changed for you in terms of, you know, getting all this attention? What, has anything changed in your, in your day to day life? No, I'm still I'm still the same guy. Just uh, probably people telling me they can't wait for me to go to Florida and stuff like that. But and no, nah, nothing, nothing's really changed. Not yet. Were you uh, disappointed to see the way Florida ended their season? Yeah, but I, I was happy they made it to the to the tournament. So uh, Coach Donovan, Coach Donovan can finally get those questions about um, them not making it to the tournament off his back because uh, apparently that's such a big deal after winning two national championships. Yeah. So when you're here in team schools like St. John's trying to reach out to, 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 coach, to coach Donovan and Oregon, and what is that, you know, what's going through your head when you hear that? I'm not worried about it because uh, Coach Donovan, he loves the Florida Gators, and I think he turned down any, any sum of money to, to be a coach for the Florida Gators because uh, I guess that's his dream job too. Right. Yeah. Patrick, I want to thank you so much for your time and uh, wish you best of luck in the future. Yes, sir, thank you. Thank you.